Newtown was indeed a new town. It was established on a greenfield site in the 13th century. But for its first 500 years, it stayed within its medieval boundaries. After the completion of the Long Bridge in 1827, this area here was developed on what previously had been open farmland. The buildings were built specifically to accommodate the handloom weaving industry. And there were two types. There were the large factory buildings with many handlooms in them. And then handloom weavers cottages, which were cottages on the ground floor and then above factory rooms. This is a typical such building with three cottages. Each cottage had a single room on the ground floor and a bedroom above. And then above that, the factory rooms. This one had two floors of factory rooms. And the cottages weren't as big as they looked. Because if we look at the back of this building, we see it's got three more front doors, three more cottages. They were two room cottages the room on the ground floor, one upstairs, and back to back with the one behind. So the area was very densely populated. In fact, the population density was increased because down passageways, which led to the yards at the back of the buildings on the street, there were rows of more cottages.